Good morning, friends. Teresa from Star Stylist Homestead. So, uh, today I'm going to be making a new snickerdoodle recipe. Um, I got this recipe last year. I haven't tried it yet. So, today I'm going to try it. So, I have two eggs. I'm making a double recipe. I have two eggs in my mixer, room temperature. Um, and this is for my sugar. Right here, I have... Uh, two and two thirds cup of all purpose flour because I'm doubling. So I'll have the recipe below for, for makes about three dozen. So this is going to make about six dozen. I have two softened sticks of butter in here. I have two teaspoons of cream of tartar, baking soda, and salt. And then of course I mixed my mixture that I'm going to roll my cookies in. It's just, um, sugar and cinnamon. Hopefully these come out as good as the last ones. So, um, I'm going to add this, my cream of tartar, baking soda, and salt, right into my flour. And mix that together. Whisk it. Okay. With my eggs, I'm going to add my remaining sugar. Um, this is one and a half cups. Because I'm doubling. So, we're going to... Get that going. Already I did it backwards. Already. That's what I get for baking this early in the morning. I need to put my sugar, at uh, my butter and sugar together. It's okay because it's all going anyway. I'm just going to add it all in. I'll write the correct directions down there in case it matters. I don't think it's going to. Because once that gets all creamed, then you add the sugar. So we have that. I want to get my sides down in here with all of this. See how, because my mixer is so big. So I'm just going to shut that off. Just so that my butter and everything is all mixed in. Good habit to get into anyway. Always get your sides down. And we'll do this again after the flour goes in. So, while it's off, I'm going to start adding this. Gradually. <laughs> so we don't get that big puff that I'll probably get anyway. So today is going to be a major baking day. Um, I'm also making um, my pumpkin rolls. And I might attempt some pumpkin cookies. Pumpkin cream cheese cookies. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to put that on low and just just keep adding my flour. Everybody loves snickerdoodles. I was going to make the Gideon's chocolate chip cookies. Um, but even I, and I love chocolate chip cookies, even I thought that's a lot of chocolate chips in one cookie. And they're half pound cookies. That's like eating a piece of cake. Oops. Okay. All that's in there. Now we're just going to come together. Just a stiff dough. I'm going to put my sides down just so that it's all mixed well we finally got a cold front <laughs> it was 42 when I woke up this morning I actually turned the heat on I had the air conditioner on still all right one more time
All right, my friends, now it's time to roll. I have my cookie sheets all ready. And I have parchment paper on them. I don't usually do that for cookies. Um, I did this time. There we go. Nice, stiff cookie dough. So now I am going to take my smallest cookie scoop and just scoop because I don't want them really big. I don't know. That might be a little small. Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to take a nice big scoop because we want them a little bigger than that. I could get my other scoop, but yeah, that's good. Okay. And then I'm just going to roll them. And then I'm going to stick them in my sugar and cinnamon and put them on the cookie sheet. And I'm going to continue doing this until it's all done. And then I will be back when I'm done with that. All right, friends, those are pretty big. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go down because that's supposed to make six dozen. That ain't making six dozen. So off they go in there. And I think it's 10, 10 minutes or so. And it's at 375. So I'm going to make the next batch, but I am going to make them a little smaller. Um, because I have a feeling those are going to be huge. They didn't look that big until I put them on the pan. So be careful how big you make them. All right. These are coming out. I put these on for 12 minutes. Yeah, those are some big cookies. Look at those. Let me put the other one in. I made these one inch cookies. So these will be less time. We'll put those for 10. So, mm, they smell good. Do not overcook these cookies. I'm hoping that those are done now that I took them out. Let's see. Put them over here. I'm gonna put them on the top one. Yeah, those should be done. Wow. Yeah, there we go. Well, they definitely don't stick to the parchment. <laughs> we'll let those cool and we'll do a taste test. I, what I wanna do, you know what? I think I'm going to. Cinnamon, sugar, chocolate. Just like the peanut butter blossoms. Those will be amazing. I might just do that with all of them now that I think about it. Or the rest of them. Yeah. <laughs> Those look good. How Harry Potter candy kisses. Wow, those went in there perfect, too. Look at that, my friends. Snickerdoodle with kisses. You know how bad I want to try one of these hot? I'm going to. I'm going to taste test it hot. But with a kiss in it. Mmm. Mmm. Those are good. They're not overpowering. Mmm. My kiss isn't melted though yet. Mmm. Those are good. Okay. I got. That's a thumbs up with the chocolate. Oh, heck yeah. Those are as good as my peanut butter blossoms. Amazing, friends. Easy recipe. 
the ones in the oven right now are a one inch. Look how big these cookies are. I love. Look at. All right, friends, look at the difference in size of these cookies. These are the one inch. So I made those double, double the size. <laughs> look, hold on. Yeah. And I'm putting chocolate kisses on all of them because that is amazing. Now it makes me want to make my peanut butter blossoms. So there you have it, my friends. Go to the one inch. If you want to make three dozen off of one, go to the one inch, which is less than those. <laughs> those have to have been an inch and a half. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned. I think I'm going to do another new one. Thanks for being here. Love you guys. Ciao.